mom and pop landlords that own single family homes, uh, you need to get your California Tenant Protection Act exemptions into your uh, leases and rental agreements by April 1st, 2024. There could be severe consequences. Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like and share our videos. Now, uh, this is just a friendly reminder to all my landlords out there that are um, subject to California's Tenant Protection Act of 2019. Um, this would you That's any landlord that's... Um, in the state of California, that's not subject to a local eviction or rent control statute. Um, you know, some cities regulate their have their own rules, but uh, everyone else is subject to the Tenants Protection Act. Listen, you need to get your um, disclosures in your um, lease agreements if you don't have them already to exempt your tenancies from the Tenants Protection Act. I'm running into a lot of landlords right now that don't even know what I'm talking about. Their leases are super old. They don't have the required disclosure needed under the Tenants Protection Act. And what it basically says is, hey, tenant, um, you know, our, your tenancy is not subject to the Tenants Protection Act because I own only one dwelling unit and I'm an individual landlord. I'm not a corporation. I'm not a real estate investment trust or an LLC that has a corporation as a member uh, of that entity. So um, these this particularly affects mom and pop landlords. While I'm saying you need to get this done by April 1st, 2024, new amendments to the Tenants Protection Act go into effect on April 1st this year. And the consequences appear to me to be that if you don't have the exemption in your um, lease agreement, that would require you as a landlord to give a disclosure saying to your tenants you're subject to the Tenants Protection Act. And if you don't have those disclosures in your lease agreement, the law says any termination notice that's issued that's not in compliance with the law is void, basically. So that's what my main concern here. So I want to keep reminding people again, get to, get your exemptions into your lease agreement. Um, you can contact our office if you're in our area that we can try to help you out. I'll give you the disclosure information down below. Okay. Um, if you have a landlord question, put it in the comments. We'll try to answer them to the best of our ability till next time. We'll talk to you then. Thanks.